After demonstrating key, some of the key differences between containers and VMs, it's now time to look at how containers make it easy to install and launch any application. And again, I'm going to compare this with a traditional process of setting up an application. In this case, I'm going to take an example of a WordPress publishing platform. Let's say I want to install WordPress on my Linux server. So what I typically do is I would go and look up the documentation, official documentation of that application, or look at some of the reliable pages from the internet and then connect to my server and then start following the instructions and try to get it work. A lot of times, even though the instructions are written for even my operating system that I'm running, um, you know, it takes time to understand the process and install it. Sometimes there would be issues as well. And let's say I'm following this documentation and this document itself has multiple, you know, uh, pages and I would have to go and look up and this might take a few hours for me to install. That's the first thing. Right. And then there would be issues. So I have, you know, a few issues here that may not be document in the documents and I would have to fix it. And it takes time, some certain times it takes even few days in case there are some major issues that you need to fix. And this might be just an application that I want to just check and uh, see if it is fit for me or not. And even for that, spending a few days just installing the application itself makes really no sense. And this is where Docker is going to be handy. I'm going to show you how. But before that, I'm just trying to fix a few issues here with my package manager. And if you have installed an application on a Linux system, you would be familiar with this process. You might have, you know, uh, spent hours and hours going through the documentation, getting it to work, making it work rather, and fixing things, and then, you know, uh, probably trying to figure out, and, you know, uh, that's, that's just a really, really long process that, you know, you may not want to get into. And after all of this, I have, let's say, uh, you know, I'm just going to refer rather to a script rather than following that document. I already have a pre-created and tested script on that I had used earlier. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Again, just to demonstrate the, to the process, you might write a script and run it. And that would help you get things to work up to certain extent. Because if, uh, But if there are issues with the new operating system and so on, you might still have to go back and fix your script. Let's wait for this. All right, so that has run fine. So I'm assuming the WordPress is installed. Let me go and check by finding out the IP address of the server and trying to load it from the browser. All right, so that's my public IP address. It's running on the cloud, so I can directly access that from my browser. And, oh, oh, there's a problem. Again, this is a very typical situation. Now I have to figure out what's missing. There's a dependency that I need to install. So I'm going to go ahead and install that dependency if I know the package or I might have to go to Stack Overflow, you know, and try to search or raise a question or query and hope for someone to answer it. Again, that might take a couple of days. And only after you have you know, figured out everything, you will see the application being available. Again, we are going to compare this process with how you could launch this application with containers. All right, so now we are in the world of containers. And what I'm going to do here in order to launch this application, I don't have to go and search for the instructions on installing it. I don't even have to bother about it. All I need to do is find an image for that application. So somebody would have created and taken the efforts to create this image and package that application along with all the dependencies and, and the operating system, underlying operating system as well. So all I have to do here is now just say, Control, use Control C and Control V, copy and paste. 
and that should just work and if you look at this instruction it is pulling an image the same image that i you know was uh, looking at the documentation for and it pulls the image which should have wordpress along with all the dependencies installed so i don't have to go and pull my hair out in you know and try to figure out how to install it and configure it and all of that it's already installed and that's how easy it is to launch any application with docker and now that i have installed it i can go to the browser and try to load it on the port that it is running on that's it so i go here and this application this container is running on port 8080 so i could launch that with the ip address colon the port or it's running on port 80 whichever port it is and there, there i go so i should see the application running within a few minutes now i'll show this process again by launching another application this time it's even more sophisticated application most of you should be familiar with you know tools like dropbox now you can actually set up your own version of the dropbox there is an open source application for it and i'm going to show you how to set quickly set it up and this could be actual server that you have and you can launch that application and start using it it's called as nextcloud it's right there on this page. So I go here to the next cloud as an application image. This is from Docker Hub, by the way. And here I should find the instructions on how to launch this Docker image. There is a link to the official documentation or official website of Nextcloud as well. It's a very cool, very interesting application. You can actually set up your own Dropbox like file syncing service. And there is even an application available on your mobile phone and tablets and even for the desktops, just like how Dropbox works. It's your own Dropbox, your own storage, and it's unlimited. Again, what I'm demonstrating here is how can you launch this application? Now, I don't even know what language this application is written in, what platform it needs, what are its prerequisite in order to install and configure it, which web server it uses and so on, because it also has a web interface. I don't have to bother about that because I have now Docker to help me set up anything and everything. So all I do is go to my, you know, my IP address colon the port and I do have the application ready I can see it running right out of the box right now it's been launched with one single container with um, its own internal database but you can actually launch another database like MySQL and connect to that and have everything being offloaded to that db a real db and there you see it just like dropbox i have now my file syncing application and the point that i want to emphasize with de this demonstration is how easy it is to launch anything and everything with docker so next time you want to try out a new application or want to set up anything that you know you use in your environment definitely consider using Docker.